Hello, this is Jerry with CADKitchenPlans.com. Welcome to the introduction to the Kitchen and Bath 3D AutoCAD series that I've put together. This is a series of 15 videos that cover exactly how I use AutoCAD to draw this cabinet that you see right here. And it's actually two cabinets. It's broken up into two series of videos. Series 1 is dedicated to the base cabinet and you'll see in Series 1 how I use 3D AutoCAD to draw this unit right here. It's got raised panel ends, a door, and a drawer front. It's got turned half columns on the front base of the cabinet. It's got a toe molding around both sides, and then it's got a carved toe kick. And in one video, I even did a dovetail drawer, which you'll see. Then in Series 2, I concentrated on this wall cabinet right here which is a, an arch top special shape cabinet. It's got a crown molding that follows that arch. The face frame follows that arch as well as the door, which has glass door insert. And then of course we've got glass doors on the side and spool blocks trimming out the corners on that cabinet as well. But I wanted to use this introduction video to get you a little bit more familiar with the functionality of AutoCAD and more familiar with some of the icons and graphics that you're gonna see pop up during the video series. First thing that you might notice is this ribbon up top. This is made to mimic the ribbon that was introduced in Microsoft Office 2007. Um, you can see there is a lot going on here, but I think one of the things that you'll be impressed by in reviewing the video series is that I use the same commands over and over and over and over. In other words, I don't need to know everything there is to know about AutoCAD. And I'm guessing that I might use 25% of the program, if that, to do what I need it to do. Yes, there's a steep learning curve in AutoCAD. Yes, it's more expensive. But once you figure out how to make it do what you need it to do, then you can go off every once in a while occasionally and learn new commands and new things on your own. There are a ton of online resources for learning, and it's actually, for me, it's, it's, it's kind of fun to learn new things and, and how to apply them. Um, but other things you'll notice, you'll see down here in the lower left corner, uh, this is the axis indicator. You can see they're color coordinated. Z is blue, X is red, Y is green. And if I click on any particular part, you'll see that I get a coordinate system icon. This one, I'll move it out here so you can get a better look at it. And what this icon allows me to do is move this part along any of those axes as I need to. Now also, I can click on this part again, right click on that, and I can tell it that I want to see the rotate option. And what this is is an orb that has the same coordinate system and now I can pick axis to rotate around. If I click on that, you can see what it'll do for me. It'll rotate in any direction I need it to do. Now, there is a third option, but AutoCAD has not fully worked that out yet. It's called the scale option. You click on that and it just kind of kind of blows it up. I've done some research in different forums and found that it they're just not ready with that command just yet. And if you look over here in the, the upper right, you'll see the view cube. What that allows me to do is move this item in any direction I need to move it. You can see, I can flip it over. I can look at it from the bottom. I can take it anywhere I need it, need it to be. I can do two-dimensional views. Just grab one here. Just double-click on the front. There's the front view. Double click on that arrow there and I get a right side view. So the functionality is great, very, uh, very convenient. I hope you enjoy the series. Took a lot of time, put a lot of effort into it. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, certainly feel free to reach me and I'll be happy to respond. You can reach me on my website, which is cadkitchenplans.com, or you can reach me through Facebook on my uh, fan page, which is Cad Kitchen Plans. Thanks again, and I hope you enjoyed the series.